the most straightforward and probably most known and simple function to plot is this kind of simple function, which is, for example, y equals x squared or f of x equals x squared. So in a plot with two axes, the x-axis and the y-axis, and an origin of, say, zero, um, this would be this kind of parabola here. Very well known. And now we can use this um, a lot also in cosmo and geochemistry. Um, if we replace x squared by an according formula. And I'd like to demonstrate it a little bit here. So again, the x squared plot, just to start off with, and now x should be from x uh, from 0 to 4. This is the interval over which x will be plotted. So x is the one free parameter. And then we get here this, again, this um, parabola. Now we can replace the x square by any kind of other equation we are interested in and which contains, um, for example, one free parameter. And uh, so, for example, you could use a formula for mixing, for adding or re um, um, subtracting a component, which would then be fraction crystallization, for example. Or we could use a formula for diffusion or hetz knudsen equation or any kind of equation you want or Rayleigh distillation, which I would like to show because that's quite a simple formula. And the formula is that any kind of ratio, for example, an isotope ratio that evaporates or condenses, changes by the formula F. And F now is the amount of material evaporated, condensed, and so on, to the power of alpha, which I just um, abbreviate with A here, minus 1. So this is, a, this is the Rayleigh distillation, one, one, one kind of Rayleigh distillation here. Now I can take this entire formula here and basically put it in here in this plot but not the entire formula only the y value because the x value is defined here so x is from 0 to 4 and then y is what I add um, here in the in this first place but now there's no x because in this case f is basically the x because f is the free parameter between 0 and 1 zero total evaporation or condensation and one vice versa. So I need to say that f is now the free parameter here and it is on the interval between zero and one. Then I also need to define a which is the fractionation uh, the um, fractionation factor a which is always close to one for example 0.99 I execute this and I get here the according function. So this is, uh, for example, total evaporation, this is total condensation, um, so zero total evaporation, one total condensation, and then I can change this kind of value here and see what happens in the plot. So in this case, the, the, the y-axis scale changed from now it's 1.06, and if there's 99, it's um, 1.03, for example. So this is very straightforward and easy to do. One free parameter in a normal function and then I can produce this kind of plots. And of course, if required, um, it's also possible to make the derivative of this function here. For this I have, for example, this palette here. And um, I can then choose something like um, the derivative here, maybe on a, uh, in a separate one, and then I have the variable here is f. The expression, so the function was f a minus 1, and then I get the according derivative here. Okay, so this is how a simple function and plotting with a simple function works.